Two words, egg porn. You guys are gonna love this dish, not just because of the egg, but the beautiful greens and chicken and little bits of chili. And this comes together in 10 minutes. I am always looking for amazing things to cook at home that take a minimal amount of time because just like you guys, I am super time poor when I get home, especially when I've got a toddler running around wanting my attention. <laughs> so 10 minutes guys, we're going to do this recipe. We are going to start off with a crispy egg because you know, crispy egg porn, totally awesome for a weeknight. What you need is a hot pan. Add some oil. Now we're doing this Asian style, so we need a fair bit of oil here. Until that oil's hot by sticking a wooden spoon or a chopstick in there, and I want to see some little bubbles. So we're good to go. Just crack your egg. Carefully get this in. It's a little bit danger mouse, but it's worth it. You should hear the splash straight away. You should hear that sizzle straight away. And now you want to get in with your spatula, just kind of flick that oil over the top. And we want to wait till the bottom is really nice and super crispy, but I like to keep my yolk a little runny through the middle. And just pop that egg on a paper towel so the excess oil will drain off. the greens. So I'm going to use Chinese broccoli or what's called gailan and the important thing here if any kind of stir fry is the prep you do when you're slicing. We want to keep the firm tougher parts of the vegetable separate from the leafy parts. So I like to just take a hold of these and just slice them lengthways through that fairly hefty sort of stem part. Because the other thing of course is that we want everything to cook beautifully at the same time and really quickly. Now just run your knife diagonally through the stems and by cutting them like this we're kind of thinning them out a little bit and that's also going to help with the cooking time. Now keep your stems separate to your leaves. Now I'm not a stickler for the recipe instructions on this one. Whatever greens you've got at home, broccoli works really well, uh, choy sum works well, bok choy works, works well. This is really one of those recipes you just want to have to hand that you can make with stuff in your fridge. Okay, now some garlic. Now again with the garlic, it's about the chopping here. So I want to keep these quite chunky, these pieces, because that way my garlic won't burn in the wok. And now some chili. I'm using a mild chili here. You could also use capsicum or go for a really spicy hot chili too. And that is pretty much it. I've got some chicken mince here as well. You could use beef or pork or turkey mince. The great thing about using a mince is that we don't have to be slicing any meat here. It saves extra time. And then for my sauces, I've just got pantry staples here. Oyster sauce, soy sauce and fish sauce. Now I've just drained off most of the oil from cooking the egg. I've left a little bit in the bottom there. And once that's nice and hot, and I'm going to add my garlic and chili. And in goes my chicken. And just when the chicken is almost cooked, I'm going to add in those stems. I'm just going to give this another minute or so until those stems are bright green, beautifully tender but still crunchy. Okay, so at this point the chicken is cooked. I'm gonna add in my green leaves, oyster sauce, soy sauce, and fish sauce. And toss all of that through. Oh, look at that color. I love how beautifully nourishing and fresh and lovely this is. And there you go, guys, done. Quick dinners don't have to be boring. They can be beautiful and so tasty. Look at that. And one of those beautiful crispy eggs on top. Now there's a fair bit of saucy goodness at the bottom of this pan, so I want some of that on my plate too. So there you go guys, the quickest dinner I know how to make. And look at that egg. Crispy, creamy egg, mm. the chicken, the vegetables. This is 
really good. Mm, yum. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.